company is in trouble, one option is to appoint an administrator to operate the company while investigating its affairs and negotiating with the creditors with a view to a deed of company arrangement, which might ultimately allow the company to trade its way out of insolvency. This process could easily be defeated if creditors or other parties were able to commence additional claims, including legal claims, against the company. The Corporations Act deals with this in Section 440 capital A of the Act and the sections that follow. These protect the corporation's assets from any further action and protect the corporation itself from legal action, while the administrator and the creditors make an assessment as to the prospects of a deed of company arrangement. Section 440 capital D of the Corporations Act says, During the administration of a company, a proceeding in a court against the company or in relation to any of its property cannot be begun or proceeded with except with the administrator's written consent or with the leave of the court. In this case, Foxcraft had been an employee of Inc. Group and had been dismissed, he said, unfairly. He sued in the Industrial Relations Court and those proceedings were ready for a one-day hearing when Inc. Group went into administration. Foxcroft wasn't a creditor and therefore couldn't vote in relation to any proposal for a deed of company arrangement because he didn't have a judgment in his favour. But he couldn't get a judgment in his favour because of the statutory stay of proceedings. He applied for leave to bring his claim anyway and Justice Young refused, saying to allow one creditor or potential creditor to proceed would not only take the administrator's attention from what he needs to do under the division in a relatively short period of time, but it would also involve costs in running the legal action on behalf of the administrator, as well as perhaps giving the claimant some advantage over other creditors or potential creditors. Accordingly, it seems to me that an application under Section 440, capital D, will rarely be granted. From this case, we learn that the court will be likely to protect the position of a company under administration while the administrator determines the way forward and that leave to proceed with legal action against the company will rarely be granted during this protected period. Mm -hmm.